We will now go over how to create your own custom report in TBC. You can either work from and edit the default layout, or you can format your own from scratch. So back in TBC, we'll go to our tunnel ribbon. Under the reports group, we have the tunnel as built command, and we want to create a new custom report. We have the create custom report dialog. We can enter in a report name. In this case, we'll call it company tunnel report. It's also a field for description. Um, this is optional, we'll leave it blank for now. We wanna select our source data for the report. Uh, in this case, we wanna choose the tunneling data. We also need to choose a report layout file. And again, we'll choose the existing default tunnel custom report that we'll edit to our preferences. When we're done with that, we can hit the edit layout button. This will allow us to edit the report in Microsoft Word. Editing an as-built tunnel custom report in Trimble Business Center is essentially the same as working with any other custom reports that already exist in TBC. If you're unfamiliar with any of these, then there is a create custom report tutorial that you can go through that will go more in depth. Any of the default report layouts are opened as read-only. So the first thing we'll have to do is save this layout as something new. We'll give it a new name here of custom tunnel layout. And we can select OK in this box to update it to the latest version. A couple things just for visibility for formatting. We'll turn on our paragraph marker. That will allow us to see any tabs, spaces, enters we have. Uh, it's just useful to have when we're formatting. The second thing we'll do is we'll select this entire table and we'll turn on all the grid lines. This section of the report is in fact just a one large table. So turning on those grid lines will make it a bit easier to see. One of the main things you may want to do is use your own company logo. Um, in this case, we have a Trimble logo here. We'll move it to put it on the top of the report. One of the things we can do is we can adjust these columns. Uh, we can narrow them if you think they're taking up too much room. We can adjust the same one over here. Go ahead and tighten all that up. We can choose to delete some rows if we don't want them. Say if we don't want any of the overbreak, uh, we can get rid of the average overbreak and the overbreak area. We can also insert rows, say under general information, we want to add an extra row here. Go ahead and insert below, and we want to put in the coordinate system that was used, so we can write in text there. And then we can use one of these data link fields. Uh, we can navigate to standard header info under the coordinate system, we can drag and drop our coordinate system. We can create additional cells. Say we want to split this cell into two. We want to create a horizontal split so we can right click in it and we can use the split cell command and we want to turn it into two columns. Once we do that, maybe we want to add the project description so we can go ahead and drag that in from our report layout data field. And we can just resize the column here so they're next to each other right underneath our image. We can do something similar up top here. We can do a split here. We'll do a vertical split. So we'll create two rows. Um, we can go ahead and add in something like our ground scale factor. We'll create some text for that. And we'll grab the corresponding data field and drag that next to the label we created. Like any Word document, you can customize the size and the font of all the text. We'll go ahead and make this title a little bit bigger there. You can see we also have these colored headings. We can go and right click there and we can change the fill on them. You know, we could change them to a different color. We could change them back to clear if we didn't want that. There are also several options. If we select the entire table, there are some Microsoft themes we can apply to the entirety of the table. Uh, we'll just leave this for now though. We can scroll down to the second page here and you can see we have a point table. Um, again, this is fully customizable. We have a horizontal offset field. If we don't want that, we can go ahead and change that to northing. Um, of course, we have to go in and change the data field as well. So we can click that, and we can click it to remove, and we can replace it here with the northing coordinate. You'd have to repeat this for several other cells. 
but we'll just do that just as a demonstration. So that's just kind of a brief glimpse of some of the tools you could use to edit the default custom report. You could delete everything and create the report from a completely blank template. This just shows how customizable the default report is and how there's a strong base there to work with. Once you are satisfied with all your edits, then you can go ahead and hit OK at the bottom right of the Microsoft report, and that'll bring you back to Terminal Business Center. You can hit OK again, and that will save your custom report. You can now go back to the Tunnel As Built command, and we can see that our new report is there. Uh, this opens a Tunnel As Built report UI, and we have the same options. We can go ahead and hit apply without changing anything. The report will generate. It'll open up in Microsoft Word. And here we can see our customized report that was based off of that default report, but we have our own personal changes made to it.